8-9, Tristan Casas, Connor Wong, and Sedan Raffaella. First pitch swinging is Jaron Duran, and he hits one out to left field. Just like that, the Boston Red Sox in front, one to nothing. Duran, who has the most opposite field hits of any hitter in the major leagues, hits one out into the Crawford boxes. Good old-fashioned ambush by Duran. Fastball away on our MD Anderson strike zone. Elevated just a tick. But a good swing from Duran, who's having himself a nice year. Swing and a miss. O'Neill goes down on strikes. Kikuchi picks up his first strikeout. Two two pitch is looped into right field, not hit hard by Ref Snyder, but it finds its way in the right for a base hit. Astro starting deep. Dylan Carlson hitting a two run home run. And tonight, in his second start in an Astros uniform, he's given up three hits. This play at third is not quite in time. A good strong throw by Cabbage, but Ref Snyder goes first to third. Play ground ball here from Gonzalez. Chops it. Fair takes a wild spin and they get the play at home plate. A little shovel with the glove by Kikuchi getting the fielder's choice out at home plate. That ball had a lot of weird action on it. Ground ball left side off the glove of Whitcomb and Pena is going to have to track it down in the outfield. No play anywhere and that's going to score a run to make it 2 nothing Boston. That'll be an error on the Astros third baseman. That's a strike. Casas took, took a close runs. Jose Altuve leads off and goes after the first pitch fastball for a swinging strike 0 and 1. Game with that solo home run in the eighth inning. Taps this one towards third on two hops. Rafael Devers makes the play. And there's one away. Nice. Pretty incredible numbers. And he's on base again against the Boston Red Sox. A smash through the left side of the infield. Jordan has been on base 11 times in 15 plate appearances. And he grounds one towards shortstop. Quick play to second in the turn nicely. Sedan Rafaela and Romy Gonzalez with nice double. Eight start in his last nine games. Goes down on strikes here. That's three strikeouts for Kikuchi and one away in the second inning. Ground ball towards short. Pena will charge. Bobble. And Sidon Rafael is going to reach. That's the second error on the Astros' left side of the infield tonight. And for Boston. Eight more than the Marlins. Ball to center. Jake Myers will make the play over his shoulder in left center field for out number two. The Astros, so you've seen a couple of surprises, but you're right, the length of the season. Oh, yeah. Victor Caratini guns down. Sedan Raffaella with a perfect throw. Percent ground ball guy, so the defense behind him's got to be on their toes. And that sweeper gets Jeremy Pena for a strikeout here for the first out of the inning. There's a sharply hit base hit in the left field past the diving Rafael Devers. Victor Caratini continues to hit well. He's a one-out base runner. Jake hits one towards left. Going back to the wall and making the play in front of the wall is Rob Refsnyder. Kind of off the end of the bat there for underneath their hands. As he strikes out. Cabbage on that sweeper to end the inning. Two strikeouts. Down. Tried to get the slider on the back door of the plate, but ends up walking O'Neill. That ground ball. One big hop to Whitcomb. He'll go to second for one. Altuve's turn. In time for the double play. They go around the horn to get two. Real. This ball hit the other way. Dubon will make a jumping catch right in front of the warning track for the final out of the inning. Lead off. Starting to work with these guys, figuring out that next step, guys. All right, Julian. Mauricio Dubon goes after the first pitch from Tanner Houck and pops one up to the right side. Romy Gonzalez makes the play for out number one.
really have to implore that Shea Wickham plays Shea Wickham's game. You can't go out there and say, I'm going to replace Alex Bregman. You've got to go out there and say, I'm Shea. The start of the season through August. And so far tonight, he has gone three shutout innings when this play is made by Sedan Raffaello. One, two, three, third. Part of the strike zone and away. He's able to move that on that out outside and down and in to get swings and misses. The biggest key in the success of that slider is keeping that ball down. Slider that resulted in an error, but this ball hit the other way, passed Altuve into right field. That was a changeup that Jansen hit into right for a base hit, so back-to-back -back hits for the Red Sox. That's a called strike with a fastball. That's two that you say has picked up called third. The better strikeout percentage coming into tonight with Spencer Aragetti. This one right at Altuve. Nice backhand flip to Jeremy Pena. That'll do it for the Red Sox in the four. Uh -huh. oh, yes. I can't wait. This ball smoked into left center field. Jordan Alvarez will be on base again against the Red Sox as he doubles to start the bottom half of the fourth inning. Jordan has been a beast against this team. Whereas Yiner had the hardest hit baseball of the night. There's another one hard hit in the center field. Jordan's going to be held up as that ball got to Jaron Duran in a hurry. But Yiner Diaz with a clean base hit. The Astros have first and third. Nobody out. Back inside. Slowly hit. Jordan coming down the line. They're going to try to make the play home. Jordan safe. Two to one game. Jordan got in ahead of the tag. That's what's tough. Safe is a call on the field. Ooh, never got there. The knee of the catcher gets in front of the foot of Jordan. Crew chief Larry Vanover. Upon review, call on the field's overturned. Runner is out. Austin retains the challenge. And now the Astros can challenge. If he's in front of the plate and that guy's sliding and you don't have the ball, you're done. Base hit to right field, being waved around third is Yiner Diaz. Here comes the throw. We're going to have another plate to plate. No. 2-1 Astros now. Throw gets down the line. We're going to tie this game up. Around third comes Pena. The errors continue for the Red Sox. It's 2-2. Two two. Caratini walks into third. Unbelievable. Wheels absolutely came off after a and pretty good velocity. Abreu is probably the best arm in that outfield for the Red Sox, but he is not playing. Got him with that sweeper down and in. That'll be five strikeouts for Hal. Astros get a couple of runs. The American League along with the New York Yankees. Swing and a miss. Rafaela down on strikes. You say with five strikeouts. Turners have a tough stretch today and this next three days take it on the LA Dodgers this ball hit pretty well to the left but playable Racy Dubon is there for out number two a little tapper Caratini out in front of the plate will make the play his throw wide and that is going to allow O'Neill to be safe line drive into right center field for a base hit going first to third will be O'Neill Ref Snyder has his second hit that is hit number six for the Red Sox. Times Devers has been up. He's hit the ball hard. 105.8 and 104.1. This one grounded to Pena. He'll go to first in time to get Devers. And that's a big job done by Usyk. Dubon down on strikes. That's three in a row for Hauk going back to last inning and sixth in the game. Try to check his swing, goes too far. That'll be strikeout number seven and four in a row for Howe. That ball hit sharply into left field. That'll be a base hit. Astros get a two-out base hit from Jose Altuve. Hit number 150 on the season. Altuve with 100 for two. Caratini's two for two. There goes Altuve on a pitch down, so Jose picks up a stolen base. Uh, it's going to be a hit by pitch. No steal. Jordan hit by that pitch down and in. Any hit will give the Astros the lead as Yiner sends one through the middle. Knockdown, though, nicely and a play in time to get Diaz to end the inning. What a play by Romy Gonzalez to Flyers in his three starts with the Astros. 
more than any other start he had with Toronto this year. Yiner was off the bag. That's going to be a fourth error in a routine play right there Out against his former battery mate, Danny Jansen. Ah, oh, that's too far. He goes on a swinging strikeout. at six for you say. Right. So there's hope. Oh yeah, third time Casas has been called out on strikes. I love it. Runner going and the pitch is swung on and sent deep to left field. Back on it is Dubon and that is off the top of the ball. No, they're going to say it's gone. They're going to call that a home run. A fan reached out, but a two-run home run hit by Masataka Yoshida, his ninth home run of the season, and into the 4-2 Boston lead. I think this one's going to get reviewed. It looked like a fan, just from our vantage point, maybe reached over and knocked this one down. But again, we need to get a better look at it before we can confirm that. But the third base umpire and crew chief, Larry Vanover, is the one that made the call. And Joe quickly out of the dugout. A pop skied in the air to left field, playable for Mauricio Dubon. He'll come in a few steps and put it away for the final out of the inning. A couple of unearned. Pena taps one, could be trouble. It's going to be trouble. No chance for Devers. Jeremy, another infield hit. He's a leadoff base runner for the Astros in the sixth. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Three for three is Victor. Pena easily will get to third. No throw. And the Astros back in business. Down by a couple of runs. Get the first two runners on here in the sixth. And gets the first strikeout that he needs here in this first and third scenario. Don puts it in play to center. Pretty shallow, but Pena with great speed. Here comes the throw from Duran. It will not be in time. Pena crosses the plate as he glides across home. It's now a one-run game. Sack fly by John Singleton. He sends one to right, coming in on it and making the play about knee high is Tyler O'Neill to end the inning. Dubon. Another one hit the other way. Should be an easy play for Mauricio Dubon. It is one away. Ground ball to third. Two big hops for Tri for Shea Wickham. Wickham makes the play for out number two. At sixth or seventh gear. That's right. Swing and a miss. Good inning for Taylor Scott. A fly out, a ground out, and now a strike out of Rest Nighter. One, two, three. It's a work. Gave up three runs, two of them earned. Shea bounces one to third, backhanded by Devers. His throw, not in time. Wickham beats out the throw. And Jose goes down on strikes here. That'll be the first out of the inning. Strikeout number nine for Boston Pitching. Hits that ball, smash pass for second baseman Gonzalez. Stopping at second is Wickham. Throw goes through to third. On base for a fourth consecutive time. And Now he's going to ring him up on a clock violation. Wow. That he's set up on, too. That's a strike. So the Astros strike out three times in the inning. A couple of hits. Foul tip caught by Caratini. That'll do it for Devers. Strike out for Ferguson out of the pen. The Astros. Got him. Back-to-back -back K's for the lefty Caleb Ferguson. Two outs here in the eighth. On the season, but 19 since the break. Brown ball slowly hit. Altuve will backhand. Gets the catcher running. Can make a strong throw and does to get Jansen to end the inning. Good inning for Caleb Ferguson. I there we go. Would have a hard time arguing. They finally got out of the zone. How about it? Caratini on base for a Struck out against him on a sweeper. Ground ball towards the middle. Rafaela flips to second. Bare hand play, and they turn the double play. He flipped it to the bare hand of Romy Gonzalez, and as McCormick bats for the first time. Chaz loops one into right field off the end of the bat. That one checked up like a wedge in right field. That'll be a base hit for Chaz, and that has to feel good. Chaz on the go, swing and a miss. The throw is bounced, and Chaz in the scoring position with a stolen base. Jazz McCormick gets in there with big hits for the Astros. 
as he lines one in the left field. This could tie the game. Here comes Chaz. No throw. We're tied up at four. Doobie does it again. Great plate appearance by Shea Whitcomb. He struck out his first two times on similar pitches that he watched for ball. Bottom on a pitch up and away. Altuve fires the bat down in frustration as he strikes out with two runners on. Ray, lately that fastball's been jumping out of that hand around 96, 97 miles an hour. Casas didn't want to wait around. He pops one into left field. Mauricio Dubon calls off Shea Whitcomb and makes the play for the first out. This will be the 10th pitch of this at bat. And a little ground ball to the right side. Altuve is there. Hayter wins that battle. Took 10 pitches before Yoshida grounds out. Two away. Here's Sadon Rafaela. Goes after the first one and skies one. Way up in the air. Mauricio Dubon and Jake Myers converge. It'll be Dubon who puts it away. He gets Jordan on a three-pitch strikeout to start the bottom half of the ninth. Here's Yiner Diaz. Yiner hits one high. Ball game over. Jordan sent something to Yiner on his way back to the dugout, and Yiner crushed one for the winner. Hey, bartender. I need a little extra in this one. That is a beautiful Yiner bomb. Yiner Diaz connects on a big fly for an Astros walk-off. First walk-off since Breggy walked off L.A. on July 27th. What a finish. The only time the Astros have led tonight, Blummer. That's all that matters is they lead at the end of the ball game. Pretty remarkable how this game has unfolded. It was not the cleanest of games for the Astros. You know what winners do, TK? They win. Find a way. Put yourself in position. They did just enough to keep this game close enough and allow them the opportunity here at home with one swing of the bat to walk this game off. Jordan couldn't do it. He left it up to Yiner. Quick comment. And that's all he needed. What a swing. What a finish. First career walk-off home run in the career of Yiner Diaz, his second career walk-off hit. Henley Jansen struck out Jordan Alvarez on three pitches. Jordan said something to Yiner, and whatever he said, Yiner tipped that bat right at the dugout as soon as he made, that, made contact with that pitch and walked it off for the Astros. What a win. They are 4-0 against the Reds.